Hey there, Leo. Good afternoon, and welcome to your November 2020 tarot reading. Welcome to Love and Abundance Tarot. My name's Carrie, and I'm excited to share your November forecast with you. Uh, Leo, you guys are a great zodiac sign. My grandson is a Leo, and I just love my grandson. I love his Leo energy. Uh, so if you're new to the channel, I'm going to provide you some great information in your reading today. Uh, it's going to be a pretty comprehensive understanding energetically of what's taking place, what you have to look forward to in the upcoming month of November. So Leo, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to provide you your astrological forecast. And, and if you're new to the channel, what that is, uh, is it's looking at the, at the month of November and looking at the planets and seeing which planets are moving, what's happening planetarily, and specifically which houses these planets move into for your Leo. So depending on the house that and the energy that it moves into, it creates a different energy for you. So I'm going to go through the month of November and I'm going to point out the key dates where you can anticipate and expect some of these planetary changes and shifts of energy to take place for you. And then after that, we're going to do a tarot reading, which is going to... So the astrological reading kind of gives us, I like to say, as a big picture look energetically of what's taking place for you in November. And the tarot reading is going to allow us to hone in and see how some of these energies are going to manifest for some of you a little more specifically. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. It's great to have you here. I hope you enjoy my readings, my style of readings, and then my energy as well. And if you're a returning subscriber, because I know we have all kinds of Leo subscribers out there, welcome. It's great to be with all of you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for trusting me and for believing in me and for, for following my channel and, and my tarot readings. I truly appreciate it. So, Leo, today is Thursday, October the 22nd. Time is about, well, just click, 2.48 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Uh, let's have some fun to begin with. So the first thing that I want to do is I just want to share some interesting facts that are that are that are fun facts that are connected to your to your energy, Leo. Uh, so keep in mind these facts won't apply to every Leo out there, right? But I feel like these are pretty consistent, pretty accurate for many of you. So kind of looking forward to sharing these with you. Okay, Leo. So interesting facts about Leo. Whether you agree with them or not, a Leo will always take a stand, even when everyone else runs like a coward, right? So you guys are a very courageous energy, right? Not afraid to stand on your own for what you believe in, right? Second thing, uh, a Leo worries more than you think, uh, especially about their loved ones, right? You really care, right? You feel, you care, you feel close to family members and loved ones. Uh, Leo can read others' intentions discreetly and usually with accuracy, right? So you're very intuitive. You're great at studying people, watching people, and picking up on those those nonverbal communication, you know, body language and such, and being able to really read a person and feel what their intention is like. It's a great gift that you have, Leo. Uh, fourth thing is if a Leo wants you, you will be their prey. Trust me, they'll get you, right? So Leo, you're a very determined energy, right? Also very charismatic and very charming. The last fact, Leos are great at living life with childlike enthusiasm. You maintain youthful, exciting energies towards your life experience. So childlike enthusiasm, you know, I, I use that term quite a bit in my tarot readings, and it typically comes up with you and your energy in the tarot cards. Uh, it'll come up with that sun energy, right? And then you also represent the energy of the strength card in tarot. So Leo, when it comes to the world of tarot, you've got some pretty favorable energies that are connected to you. Okay, let's get started with your reading. So Leo, the first thing I'm gonna do is share your astrological forecast with you. So the month of November, this is a big month, right? Similar to October, I feel like it's even a bigger month than October. Uh, it's going to be a month that's pretty intense. It's going to be a month of changes, right? And for some people, you're going to experience some transformational, major, major changes. Uh, and there's all kinds of activity happening planetarily in November that's causing all of this to take place. So let me share some of this with you. So the big activities in the month of November planetarily that are taking place is we had the planet Mars, right, which is the planet of action, you know, of drive, of force. Uh, 
planet Mars has been in retrograde, right? So it's coming, it's moving direct on November 4th. So it's going to come out of retrograde. So the effect that's going to have on you is you're going to feel things that have maybe been feeling some slow and stagnant. Things are going to pick up and start moving again, right? So you're going to feel like you're making progress. Uh, then on the 14th of November, we have the planet of, excuse me, it's Mercury that goes direct on November 4th, right? The planet of communications. Uh, and then on November 14th, it's the planet Mars of energy and drive and force that's going direct, right? And that's when you're going to feel things moving forward again, making progress. Uh, between the 8th and the 12th of November, we have Jupiter and Pluto conjuncting, those two planets coming together. You know, Jupiter is the planet of good fortune, abundance. Pluto is the, tr is the planet of endings and transformations, right? So some of you are going to be going through and experiencing, experiencing some transformational, transformational changes in November. And then on the last day of November, we have a full moon lunar eclipse taking place for you, right? taking place for all the zodiac signs. But that's going to fall in a specific house for you, Leo, and I'm going to share these energies with you. So let's get started. Okay, so looking at the month of November, here's what we're looking at. On the 4th, we have Mercury, the planet of communications. It goes direct and it joins Venus in your third house until November 22nd. So Venus is the planet of love and of, of attraction. Um, your third house, right? This is this is representing the house of communications for you. So what does this energy do? This energy shines a light on technology for you. This is a great time for communication for you. Uh, some of you may be exploring new technologies in the communication field, right? I mean, there are all kinds of different apps. They seem to be creating new apps every day. Different apps for communication. The latest one I've heard about is TikTok. Um, but, you know, opening yourself up, some of you may be exploring some of these new apps, new ways of communicating, reaching out and connecting with others. Uh, this is also a great time for learning and, and considering these different technologies in order to identify the best form of communication for you. Right. So for those of you that are want, wanting to communicate, reach out to others, you may be, you know, third house is about creativity as well, coming up with ideas. Some of you may want to share ideas with others. So taking the time to really look at what are your choices out there in terms of, of communications and technology, what vehicle would best serve you on, on what you want to communicate and exactly who you'd like to communicate that information to. Uh, some of you may find yourselves writing or publishing your work. This is a great time for this. Some of you may find yourself reaching out and joining new organizations or groups online. Again, technology based. Okay, Leo, on the 11th of November, we have Mercury coming to join the sun in your fourth house of home and family. The sun shines a light on the energy found in your home or family. This is a great time to communicate and have discussions and conversations with family members. Because again, the planet Mercury is a planet of communication, right? So be mindful of that. You know, this is a good time if, if there are some of those more complicated discussions that you may need to have within your home, right? The more serious talks, right around the 11th is a good time. A good time for, for communication. The communication that's shared and the communication that comes back to you. Uh, these conversations should be well received and provide a chance for some of you to strengthen your relationships, right? Strengthening your relationships to different members of your family. And when it comes to your family, think about your immediate family. And then for some of you, your extended family, maybe your soul family. Uh, this applies to your immediate family and your extended soul family members. This is a great time to make changes to your home as well. Uh, and I'm going to talk about some of those changes a little further into this astrological forecast reading because we have more activity taking place in your fourth house in the month of November. So between the 8th and the 12th of November, we have Jupiter and Pluto conjuncting, coming together. Pluto's the planet of good fortune, abundance. Or excuse me, Jupiter's a planet of that. Pluto's a planet of, of endings and transformations. So, you know, what, what this translates to at the end of the day is, you know, we've all been experiencing all kinds of changes in the world, right? And we've had two major planets for us that we've all experienced going retrograde, right? So things slowing down and in some cases maybe feeling like they're coming to a halt. How is it that you've handled, right, those changes? How have you, how have you managed yourself through these changes? How is it you've adapted exactly? 
You know, and if you've adapted well and you've kept your focus and you've remained diligent and strong and stayed positive, you know, for many of you, I feel like you're going to experience maybe some great transformational changes right around the middle of the month. Okay, on the 14th of November, we have Mars going direct now. And this takes place in your ninth house of expansion and beliefs. As a fire sign, Leo, you should feel the effects of Mars going direct again, right? Mars is fire energy, Aries energy, action, drive, moving forward, getting things done. Retrograde is a slow moving, sometimes stagnant energy with Mars. Things that may have felt stuck or stagnant in your life will now begin feeling like they're moving forward, making progress again. In the ninth house, some of you may be traveling somewhere soon. This is also a great time for higher learning and studying. You know, the ninth house is about pursuing those subjects that really interest us, right? That, that empower us and motivate us, that, that fascinate us. So Leo, think about what subjects out there do you want, are you interested in tapping into and learning and researching, gaining more of an understanding about. And for some of you, you know, these, these energies that you're learning more about, right? They're going to open up doors for you, right? Doors of traveling possibly or, or new opportunities, new beginnings, maybe new business opportunity. On the 15th of November, we have a new moon happening in your fourth house, right? So we're back to the fourth house again. This is a great time to start some type of new beginning with, within your home or family. This is a time of planting seeds to change within you, your home or family. So we have a new moon that happens every month, right? And, and as I understand things astrologically, with a new moon, this is about starting new beginnings, right? New beginnings towards your home or family. So you plant the seeds during the new moon, right? And then it's a couple weeks later when the full moon shows up, that's when you're able to see some of these energies really manifest and come to light for you. Okay, on the 22nd, Leo, we have Venus, the planet of love and attraction that joins the party again in your fourth house, right? So a lot of activity for you in November when it comes to your home and your family. Uh, some of you will find yourself making changes to your home, remodeling, redecorating, uh, purchasing new items for your home, moving pictures around, changing the carpet, building a patio or a deck. Maybe you're gonna build a koi pond for yourself. I love koi pond, so I like mentioning that one. Uh, some of you may have children or siblings moving out of your home, or some of you may have children or siblings moving back into your home, right? So this is all about changes and such taking place within the home and the family. And then again, on the 22nd, the sun comes into your fifth house, right? So the fifth house is your house, Leo, right? This is really where you shine. So some of you may be launching a new business or starting new relationships or friendships. It's a great time for you during this time in November for this. Uh, this is your house, Leo, so this is a great time for, right, to connect your energies with beautiful new creative ideas, right? Connect yourself with those creative ideas of inspiration. And then on the 30th of the month, we have a full moon lunar eclipse taking place in your 11th house of friends and community. Um, this brings you the energy of communicating and connecting with others, right? Being able to expand your circle of, of friends, uh, reconnecting with family or, you know, distant relatives, you know, friends that live on the other side of the world, right? Whoever's part of your immediate family or your soul, there's an emphasis in your 11th house on your extended family outside of the immediate family. So a great time at the end of November to reach out and to communicate and to connect with some of those people. And for some of you, it's going to lead you towards new beginnings and new opportunities. Okay, Leo, there we have your astrological forecast for you for the month of November. Uh, let's get into your tarot reading now and let's see how some of these energies are going to manifest more specifically for some of you. So Leo, the first thing that I'm going to do is pull an affirmation card for you. We'd like to see which affirmation my guides and your guides feel would be best suited for you to hear moving into your November reading. Okay, all right, Leo. I smile, right, because this is a great energy for Leo. Strength, right, the strength card. That's what comes to mind, the number eight. This reduces to a seven, it's so number 34. So seven's a very spiritual number, right? Some of you may be experiencing some type of, you know, strengthening your spiritual understanding, your connection with energy and spirit in the month of November. Strength, stability in this hour, endurance, stamina, I empower. 
Strength, stability in this hour. Endurance, stamina. I am power. Strength, stability in this hour. Endurance, stamina. I am power. Right. I said that three times, right? So you can really allow it to absorb, right? To feel those energies. So we see strength taking you into the month of November. It's going to be an energy that's going to serve many of you very well. All right. So Leo, let's pull some energies for you from this tarot deck. The deck I'm using for your reading today is a psychic tarot deck from John Holland. So the first thing that I want to do is I'll, let's see what the central theme and energy is taking us into your reading for the month of November. So this is going to show up as a pretty strong and important energy for you, Leo, in the month of November. Okay. Great energy showing up. Here we have partnerships and alliances, right? So some of you in the month of November, keep in mind, you have all kinds of planetary activity taking place in your fourth house and also in your 11th house of your extended family and communications. So here we have partnerships and alliances for November. Some of you are gonna be forming partnerships, right? Maybe creating and starting a brand new business. Uh, and you know, for some of you, this will represent the energy of just of taking on new friendships, right? Joining new groups, clubs, organizations of like-minded individuals, you know, meeting new people, making new friends. All right, Leo, let's pull some more energies for you. So we're going to build across the top of your reading here now. So coming in across the top, here we have moving on. So this is equivalent to the Six of Swords. Uh, it represents the energy of, of moving away from something from the past, right? Some of you are going to be moving away from something in your life, right? In order to create new space in your life, right? New space for new beginnings, new energies and changes. Okay, very spiritual month for you, Leo, right? You have some activity taking place in your ninth house astrologically. Here's the ninth house, right? Your spiritual strength. So be aware of this energy. Some of you are going to be, you know, during the time in November, right, when you have the activity in your ninth house, some of you are really going to be pursuing some type of understanding, right? Expanding your understanding spiritually. Uh, and it can involve, you know, a lot of different subjects. But this is coming in right above partnerships and alliances, right? So some of you, I feel like, may be starting a spiritual business, right, with a partner. Let's see what's next. Okay, Leo. Many of you, you're on a destined path, right? So destiny shows up for you. This represents the energy of the will of fortune. So this is representing the energy of, of changes that are coming in for you, you know, changes that could be attached right to this partnership this alliance that some of you are going to be creating <clears throat> all right leo beautiful energy coming in next here we have hope so this represents the energy of aquarius some of you may be connected to aquarius it's coming in right next to partnerships and alliances so for some of you you may be partnering up joining up with an aquarius right but this is about having hope it's about manifesting all of your hopes and dreams which I feel like it's just a great energy for you, Leo, because it's coming in touching this partnership and alliances energy, right? So I feel like the partnership that some of you are joining, whether it's, it's a, it could be a romantic connection of love coming together, it could be a family relationship. Some of you may be partnering up with family members. Uh, and some of you may be partnering up with extended connections in your life. <clears throat> But I feel like connected to this, this partnership, this alliance that you're creating, you feel it's taking you towards all of your hopes and dreams, right? This is something big for you. It matters. Okay, Leo, coming in next, we have spiritual union, right? So here's the two of cups. So this is representing the connection for you, Leo. The connection that's found right here, right? These two arms reaching out. And Notice the arms are reaching out, right? They're reaching out to help one another. Uh, we're not sure who's helping who exactly, right? But, but I feel like this partnership is something that serves you well, working closely together. You know, I feel like you really care a lot for one another. Right? As here you are embracing each other's arms and hands. And for some of you, right, this is about this connection coming together. Two very like-minded individuals, right? Their heads are touching. So that's letting me know this is a, a like-minded connection for you. 
So for some, this could this could represent a romantic love and connection in your life. Uh, it may be a brand new love and connection in your life, or it, for others, this may represent a relationship that, that you're already in. Maybe you're you're forming a partnership in this relationship. Maybe even moving forward in some type of business together. Spiritual union coming in under destiny, right? So it's attached to the changes. So this union that's coming together is kind of going to bring changes into your life. Okay, Leo, coming in next, we have balance. So the number 11, a very divine number. I, it's kind of funny. I, I heard sometimes things just jump out at me, right? I heard somebody on television a few weeks ago say, you know, the number 11, it means one, one too many. And I just laughed when I heard that. You know, but the number 11 is a very divine number. This represents the energy of Libra, right? So some of you may be connected to a Libra. But this is about, um, you know, fairness and balance coming in. Uh, it's a, you know, I feel like, why am I thinking reward? You know, I feel like for some of you, this is, this is representing the energy of a reward of some sort coming in. Okay, where is it going to lead you, Leo? To movement, choices, and decisions, right? So this is equivalent to the Two of Pentacles. This is about having choices, right? Choices, movement, and decisions are coming in right underneath this partnership and alliances energy. Uh, so, yeah, for some of you that are starting this partnership and this alliance, right? It's going to bring you destiny. It's going to bring you changes into your world, and there's going to it's going to open up the door for new choices, right? New opportunities, new directions to take. Should I go right? Should I go left? All right, Leo. The next energy coming in for you comes to us as truth. So this represents the energy of judgment. So it's coming in right underneath spiritual union. Uh, this is about letting go of the past. You know, past experiences, when past experiences happen, right? Sometimes the more difficult, complicated experiences, they can stay with us. Why? Because when they happen, they impact us, right? And maybe we're, we're, we're welling up all kinds of strong energies and emotions, right? It's those strong energies and emotions, right? That's, what's, that's, that's your energy. That's what's resonating. That's what's attracting changes into your life. Uh, so I feel like I mean, it's coming in right underneath spiritual union. So I feel like, you know, whatever this, this connection is about, this is about letting go of the past completely. Any opinions and judgments, right, that may be holding you up, no worries, Leo. We're going to pull some clarification for you here in your reading. So, yeah, in the month of November, we have, you know, partnerships and alliances. That's, that's, a, that's the big, strong energy showing up for you here. Yeah, some of you moving on from something in your life. Uh, we're going to get some clarification on that. Focused on your spirituality, right? Maybe some of you are really diving in and, and getting deep into some of these spiritual subjects, right? Really learning more. And for some of you, it's going to open up the door to some type of partnership and alliance. Changes coming in, right? What are the changes about working you towards all of your hopes and dreams, right? The, the star card here. Uh, and for some, right, a spiritual union. This is a beautiful connection showing up in your life, Leo. Whether it's romantic or not, right? This is a great connection to like-minded individuals. And notice this cup between them. You know, cups represent a lot of emotions and feelings. So there's a close connection with this energy for some of you. This will represent soulmate type energy. Here we have letting go of any judgments, any opinions, right? Any limiting energies that may be holding you, holding you back, uh, holding you back from moving forward in this partnership and alliance. <clears throat> yeah, and for some of you, right? I'm picking up on reward, right? Fairness and balance coming in, Libra's energy. I feel like some of you have some type of reward coming in. And it's going to open you up to making a lot of movements, choices, decisions, life changes. These changes for some of you, I feel like may represent some major strong transformational kind of changes. So Leo, let's get some clarification for you. What clarification does is it allows us to dig a little bit deeper to gain a better understanding of these energies that have showed up for you. So the first energy that I want to get some clarification on is partnerships and alliances, right? So let's learn a little bit more about this energy. Tell us about partnerships and alliances for Leo. Tell us about partnerships and alliances for Leo, please. Oh, 
Okay. All right, so the energy is connected to partnerships and alliances, shown right here. Uh, the number three, right, that stands out to me. Third house, third house of communications, right? So there's a connection there for some of you, right, on communicating, being able to, to maybe communicate with this person to reach out and bring together this partnership and alliance. So we have two energies that came out for you, Leo. Here's what's going on for you. The first energy came to us as the Six of Cups, right? So this represents the energy of somebody from your past, right? So I feel like for many of you, you know this person. There's a history there. So this could represent the energy of somebody from your past coming back into your life, coming together in a spiritual union to create a partnership and alliance. Here we have the Three of Wands attached to it. So we're looking at, looking at this figure, right? He's staring out into the water. He's looking at the ships. He wants to see what does the direction look like ahead of me, right? What is this partnership, this alliance? What does it look like? All right, Leo, let's ask about moving on now. Tell us about moving on for Leo, please. Okay, we just got one energy. All right, Leo, so great energies that just came out for you. Uh, let me read them to you here. So we're asking about this energy, which is representing the energy of the Six of Swords, right? So it's titled Moving On. So it's representing the energy of you moving on from something in your life. And what I was feeling initially, was that you're moving on from something in your life, right? In order to create space, right? Moving on from some limiting energies in order to create space for this union, right? The spiritual union, this partnership. So here we have the 10 of swords, right? So 10 swords, which swords represent lessons in life, right? When it shows up as a 10, this is the universe letting you know you've learned all that you need to learn, right? From these lessons, Leo, right? So allow the swords to go to rest. Let go of the past completely. The energy that's connected to this is the Four of Wands, right? Which this is this is about connection coming together, right? This could be marriage for some of you. It's, it's representing the energy of a contract, right? So some of you, this is exactly what it's representing. It's this contract, right? This partnership. And it's a very spiritual union for some of you with a very like-minded individual. A like-minded individual for some of you is connected to your past. Okay, Leo, tell us about spiritual strength now. Tell us about spiritual strength for Leo, please. <clears throat> okay, so connected to the energy of spiritual strength, right? And here we see it right here. It's about going inward, right? Pursuing things in your ninth house, going after those subject matters, right? That are a little more in depth, the spiritual type subject matters. So the energies that came in to clarify this, we have the Page of Pentacles, right? Here he is showing up, bringing you this pentacle, right? This, is, this pentacle represents the beginning that's being offered, right? Connected to spiritual strength. And attached to it, we have the Fool's Energy, right? So Leo, you're gonna go great with this Fool's Energy, right? Because this is, a, this is like a childlike, enthusiastic kind of energy, right? To me, it reminds me of like going back to being a kid again, right? Being a kid, it's before the yeses, the noes, before ownership. You know, when we're kids, we're just, we're into it for the adventure, right? The world is our oyster. You know, anything is possible. So this is emb you embracing this kind of energy, right? Moving into this, letting go of the fears, the worries, and the concerns, right? So you're stepping into this partnership, alliance, this connection with childlike enthusiasm, right? With excitement for, I'm stepping into this beautiful adventure. And here's this adventure, right? Letting you know it's ready to start. All right, Leo, tell us about destiny. Tell us about destiny for Leo. Okay, so we have two energies that are showing up for you. We have a page energy and then we have a night energy. So this page is coming in, right? Page of Cups, water energy. So Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. 
So here he is showing up, bringing you this cup. Right? Cups represent a lot of emotions, a lot of feelings. This is representing the beginning, right? The universe showing up, bringing you this cup. The energy that's attached to it is the Knight of Pentacles, right? We had the Page of Pentacles earlier. So here's the Knight stepping in, showing it, coming in towards the Page of Pentacles to bring you this beginning, right? To bring you this pentacle, this opportunity. So it's attached to the changes, right? The destiny card, right? For some of you, you're on a destined uh, journey right now because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight, but he's the most reliable. And what is it that makes him so slow moving and so reliable, right? What I kind of feel intuitively is that, you know, he's on a destined path, right? He may veer off the path, but you know, he'll get himself back on the path pretty quickly, but it's very slow moving, slow moving, coming and bringing you this opportunity. So for some of you, Leo, this has been a long time coming. All right, Leo, tell us about hope for Leo, please. Okay. All right, Leo. So here's where we're getting our clarification. This is representing the energy of Aquarius, right? It's connected to the energy of hope. This is about manifesting all of your hopes and dreams. It's, it's touching and connected to partnerships and alliances. So we have two energies that came out for you here. So cups, right? Here we have the Knight of Cups, bringing you this cup, bringing you this opportunity. It represents the energy of your knight in shining, knight in shining armor. Right? So he's bringing you something to your life that you love a lot, but he's headed towards the Eight of Cups, right? And here this figure is walking away from these eight cups, right? And we already know, Leo, right? it's important for you in the month of November to be able to move on from the past, right? The things in the past that have kept you stuck, those limiting energies and experiences. It's about letting those go, walking away from those in order for this night to come in and bring you this brand new cup. Brand new opportunity. All right, Leo, tell us a little more about spiritual union for Leo. Okay, we had one card that flipped. I need to find it. Well, at least I thought a card flipped. If a card flipped, I like to know about it because it's part of your reading. But I have double checked and there was no card that flipped. Okay, Leo, tell us about the spiritual union for Leo, please. Okay, all right, Leo. So we have two energies that came out for you and these are great energies. Leo, I hope you're enjoying this reading. You have a great reading for November. So this is where we're getting our clarification. This is about the connection, the soulmate type connection with a like-minded individual. For some of you, somebody from your past. You have a bit of a history together. Fantastic energies that came out to clarify this specific union for you, right? So if you're having any questions or doubts about this union in your life, you can get rid of them now because here we have the Ace of Cups. So this is the beginning, right? The beginning of love for some of you. Whether it's a partnership or, or, a, or a romantic relationship, it's full of love. The energy that's attached to this comes to us as the Ten of Cups. I mean, Leo, earlier here in your reading, right, we had the Four of Wands, which is about marriage, right? Some of you in the month of November may find yourselves getting married, right? Or, or coming together, creating a contract. And we have Ten of Cups kind of energy that's available for you that's connected to this beautiful beginning of the spiritual union. This represents bliss. Notice the rainbow in all Ten Cups. Here's the family, right? Celebrating, experiencing joy and happiness. Uh, so this connection is a great connection for you in your life, Leo. All right, tell us about balance, please. Tell us about balance for Leo. Okay, Leo, all right, we had two energies that showed up for you here, and this is where we're clarifying. Balance, the number 11, a div very divine number. It's representing the energy of Libra. So we have these two energies. First energy is the two of wands, right? So this is about, this is about fairness, balance, and earlier I was feeling some type of a reward, right, that's associated to this energy right here. And here we see the reward 
showing itself as the Ten of Pentacles. This represents abundance in its fullness, right? So things feeling somewhat stagnant, like they're not moving. Now it's now you're stepping into this beginning, so think you're going to feel things moving again. And that's what's being shown here in the Two of Wands. It's representing the energy of the courageous risk taker, getting ready to step into this adventure, right? Where does this adventure take him? Towards abundance, Ten of Pentacles, an abundance of love, an abundance of finances, an abundance of connection, of friendships, of recognition. Beautiful for you, Leo. Okay. All right, tell us about movement choices and decisions for Leo, please. Movements, choices, and decisions for Leo. Movements, choices, and decisions for Leo, please. Okay, so we have two energies that showed up for you here. We have, this is where we're getting our clarification, movement, choices, and decisions, right? The number two represent that partnership, two people coming together. Here we have the page of wands, right? This is a page of creativity, of new beginnings. This wand represents a new beginning. This is a fast moving beginning with a lot of creativity and a lot of passion that's connected to it. So it's part of your choices, right? Part of your movement, the decisions that are showing up for you in the month of November. Some of you are gonna be making this choice and starting this brand new, creative, passionate beginning. The energy that's attached to it is the Four of Swords, right? Which is about taking time to rest and recuperate, right? So if you're feeling a lot, you know, a lot of busy, chaotic kind of energy, you know, take some time before you step into this beginning. You don't want to step into it with a lot of chaos, right? A lot of unorganized energy. This is about getting organized, you know, taking time to rest, recuperate, allow your energy to calm down, really think things through, connect yourself with your beautiful creative energies and creative ideas. And Leo, you guys have some amazing creative ideas. All right, tell us about truth for Leo. Tell us about truth for Leo. Okay, so Leo, we have two energies showing up. This is where we're getting our clarification, right? Representing the energy of truth, judgment energy. So letting go of the past completely, any past experiences or, or judgments that you may have had even with this person, right? Maybe there's a history there where things in the past didn't go so well. This is about letting go of those energies, right? Trusting, having faith. So the clarifiers that came up for you, Leo, come to us as a temperance card, representing the energy of Sagittarius. So some of you may be connected to a Sagittarius. But what this energy is showing up for you, Leo, right, it's reminding you of divine timing, right? The divine timing for this specific journey that for many of you has been a slow journey, right? A long time coming. It took a long time for this to come together. The energy attached, so this is about being patient, right? Balanced, a foot in the water and a foot on dry land. The energy attached to it comes to us as the Ace of Swords, right? So here's the beginning, right? And swords are mental energy, right? So you're, you're releasing yourself, you're moving on, letting go of any of the past experiences and energies that have hold you up, held you up, Right? And now it's, it's giving you a different mindset, right? a different perspective. Right? The past is the past and now we're moving into the future. I've been patient, allowing this to come in. I've removed myself from, from all the past energies of judgment, failure, things didn't work out, sadness, grief. Letting go of that, right? And I'm stepping into it with a brand new attitude, this energy of adventure, of excitement, right? A new series of beliefs and feelings. Okay, Leo. Wow, I think I'm done with your tarot reading. Uh, Leo, you had an you have an amazing reading for the month of November. This is a big, big month for, for many of you, 
right? This is a month to really pull upon your inner resources for your strength. Because Leo, at the end of the day, right, you want this partnership, this alliance to come together, whether it's a spiritual, romantic love kind of connection or friendship, or it's an actual business partner for some of you, right? And here we see you, for some, coming together, right? Maybe even creating a contract. This is this is representing the energy of coming together in an agreement of some sort. This is also representing the energy of marriage. Uh, you know, of, of maybe taking this relationship and moving it up a level, right? So maybe you're gonna be just be exclusive with one another. You may be moving in together. You may be traveling together. Uh, some of you are getting married. For those of you that are getting married, congratulations. All right, Leo, loved your tarot reading, right? I hope you enjoyed it as well. I hope you enjoyed the messages that we shared. I hope these energies resonated with you and you were able to connect with part of your story and part of your truth. This is a great reading to claim as yours, Leo, right? So thank you for all the love and the support that you guys provide me. If you're interested in getting a personal tarot reading, I love to provide the personal readings. In the description below are the details. Um, I do two types of readings. Well, I can do a three card reading um, where I just pull three cards for you based upon the question that you're asking. I can send you your own private link to your own recorded 30 minute reading that's yours to keep. Uh, or I've started doing personal readings through Zoom. And I've really enjoyed that experience because it gives me a chance for us to be able to look at each other, right? To communicate and to speak and to interact throughout your reading where you can stop me when an energy comes out and ask specific questions. And I get the chance to go a little bit deeper and ask you some of the questions that I'd like to ask in order to gain the best understanding of what's happening for you. So the personal readings through Zoom have went very, very well. And I've, I've really enjoyed the connection that I've shared and experienced with many of you. So those are available. If you're interested in getting one of those, reach out to me and let me know. I'd love to provide it for you. Okay, Leo, you have an exciting big month of November to look forward to. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for trusting me. Thanks for having faith in me. Thank you again for all the love and the support. Leo, wishing you all the very best.